I say? I'm, I'm Eddie, and uh, I'm a Nigerian artist based in Birmingham. I've been living here for over 10 years now, and um, I've always been an artist right from day one, a visual artist. I see things in, in color, see things in form, um, and I like, like to draw them, paint them, do something with them. Um, I work in all kinds of mediums, and I'm very experimental with what I do. Um, I have a family who I love dearly, and I do everything I can to please them at the same time, please myself. Yes, I love working in the community. Um, um, coming to the UK has opened my eyes to innate skills I had doing community work and working on projects that benefit community. Uh, and my art has been at the forefront of that uh, since I've been doing community work. Um, a lot of art projects have told me about the needs of the community and how I can send messages out and make people build relationships based on the kind of art I share and I make people and I encourage people to do. To backtrack on something you said earlier, um, what you would originally story in you like to experiment with art. I remember when you spoke about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I studied a fine and applied arts in uh, um, Delta State University in Nigeria and I majored in graphics, um, not because I wanted to do graphics, um, I majored because I wanted to challenge myself and do something else. I've always loved painting because with painting you're not, there's no um, fixed, fixed or rigid process to what you make, it's how you make it and when you make it that really really counts. With graphics you have to conform to certain tenets that goes with it. But then the beauty of it is that you pick up stuff from graphics that you can apply in your paintings and I suppose that's how art marries itself. Um, so I experiment with a lot of um, materials because back then in Nigeria it was quite tough getting the kind of materials you wanted so you, most of the time you had to improvise. And, and through improvisation, you make like really unique discoveries of how you can um, make art that is still quality compared to when you're using quality art materials. And it, it, it opened my eyes to, to find out that it's not just about how you, uh, what you used to make your art. It's about the passion, the expression you're trying to create, and the power and the work you put behind it that makes the art, not the actual quality of the product used. Uh, but don't get me wrong, it's good to use quality products, but it's also very, very important that you make a product that you can relate to directly. So what I'm trying to say is, if you buy, buy Rembrandt oil paints, for example, they cost a lot, but then if you don't have the skill and you don't have the drive to do the work, you're never going to make a good piece. But if you do use, it doesn't matter what you use, it's, it's what's in here and what's in here.